Hey everyone, Zeddy here today with a brand new video and we are continuing our review series on Ashes of Outland and we are continuing today with the Priest cards. Again, I am reviewing Standard and Wild on a 5 star basis, 5 stars being an auto include god tier card and 1 star being unplayable trash you would hate to take in Arena. So, let's start with the Priest cards. We have a 1 mana spell, Renew, Restore 3 Health, Discover a Spell. Um, typically discover spells worth like half a mana, one mana-ish, and you get restore three health. In standard, I have absolutely no idea what you're doing with this card. Priest is under a bit of a rework, and I just don't see this really synergizing that well with stuff, but it's a little bit of health, a little bit of value. Might see some play, but I don't quite think it's enough. I'll give it a two. In wild, on the other hand, with the reverted nerf to Raza, and the power level of that deck, that deck loves cheap spells. And this is a spell that not only heals, but generates another spell. It's a free hero power into another free hero power. Um, definitely will be a staple in Raza Priest going forward. And that deck, yes, it's being held back by Quest Mage, but it's still very good against a lot of other stuff and is still a solid deck. So definitely a good inclusion there. And you could run it in other things like Combo Priest since Norshire, Cleric, Divine Spirit are wild cards. So I'm going to give it a four for wild. I think it actually has a lot of implications there. A very strong wild card, not so much standard. Next, we have Apotheosis, a three mana priest spell. Give a minion plus two, plus three, and lifesteal. Kind of overcosted on the amount for the, the buff, but you get the lifesteal. I just... Standard, I don't think you're playing this. I think there's other better buff options in the new cards, let alone prior cards. In Wild, you have Velen's Chosen, you have Extra. I just, Extra Arms, I just, I don't really see it in any format. Um, just not very strong at all. Kind of an Arena card. I'm going to go with one star in Standard and one star in Wild. Next, we have Psych Split. Five mana spell. Give a minion plus one, plus two, and summon a copy of it. Um, again, similar to uh, Germination and Druid, it's it's Faceless Manipulator again. But this time, it's 5 mana, so same cost, but you get a bit of a bit of a buff with it. You can cheat it in Wild with Radiant Elemental. Um, not bad. I mean, you get a bit of a buff on a minion, any copy of it. Is it good enough? I don't know what you're playing this in. But maybe. But probably not. So in, in Standard, I'm giving it a 2. In Wild, I have absolutely no idea what you would do with this. I don't see it at all, so I'm going to give it a 1. It's a cool card. I just don't see what you're doing with it, but I could very well be wrong. Next, we have a 7-mana dragon, Skeletal Dragon. It's a 7-mana 4-9 taunt. And at the end of your turn, add a dragon to your hand. This can be any random dragon. It can be um, Emerus. It can be Fairy Dragon. It could be anything. The body itself is okay, not spectacular. The effect is not great. Random Dragon, it's okay, but not amazing. Uh, it's just kind of a lot worse than the, the Druid, the 6 mana 4 8, where you actually get to discover and pick. The fact that it's random is just not great. You don't really want to res this that much in like a Big Priest Resurrect deck in Standard or Wild. This is what I like to call a Dragon Queen Alexstrasza card, which you will get from Dragon Queen, and play it for zero mana, and then get another Dragon Queen, and then get another one of these for zero mana, and get another Dragon Queen, and then get another one of these for zero mana, and get another Dragon Queen. But other than that, I don't think the card is really that good. Probably a really good arena card, but ladder, not so much. I'm going to give it one star in both Standard and Wild. Next, we have a new legendary spell, Soul Mirror. Seven mana spell, and it summon copies of any mini minions, and they attack their copies. So, if a minion has five attack and five health, it's going to kill itself. If it's got death rattle or some kind of value, you're going to extract that. It's going to be on your side of the board. You're going to get that death rattle. Um, it's a really kind of cool and interesting AoE effect, because, you know, Priest needs more AoE. But um, I actually really like the design of it. Your opponent might be able to play around it a little bit. You might not be able to manipulate it yourself. There's just a lot of cool potential with it. And it's a very strong card. Um, in Standard, it's definitely going to see play as AoEs are not as abundant as in Wild. So I'm going to give it a 4 stars in Standard. And in Wild, I think I could see some experimentation. It's definitely a good fit, I would believe, in Reno Priest. You're not really running like the expensive board clears other than Screen. But this one might fit. It might. 
But um, so I'm going to give it a three for Wild. It's just a really cool and interesting card, and I'm excited to see how it plays out. Next, we have Reliquary of Souls. It's a one mana, one three lifesteal minion. Wow, it's like Norshard Cleric, but with lifesteal. But doesn't draw your deck. <laughs> so really good one drop play. And it can heal you up. You can buff it. And you can make it heal you for more. And then it's got upside. It's got death rattle. Shuffle reliquary prime into your deck. You can make copies of this with that two mana 2-2. Two, two. It curves into it. You can get a 2-2. Two, two, and then you get more reliquary primes. And what is that? It's, a, it's a, I believe, a 7 mana 6-8 untargetable taunt with lifesteal. Except for the fact that you can target it. You can make it bigger. Even without being able to target it. Without being able to make it bigger. That's just an insanely strong minion. And the fact that it probably won't be that hard to like resurrect and get more of them or copy this card and get more of them, that's an insanely powerful card uh, and uh, could definitely be a staple in a lot of standard decks. So I'm going to give this a four stars. Very strong card. And in Wild, Imreno Priest might run it. I don't think you're building a deck around this in Wild. I don't. I think it's too slow there. A lot of these Prime cards, you got to play it and draw it. The game in Wild is so fast, so degenerate, so mana cheat. So who gives a shit about your board that I just don't think it's going to make the cut, but it's a good card. I'll give it a two. It might see some fringe play. Maybe Reno Price runs it just for some tempo, but I don't think the deck cares. I think they want to cycle and kill you. But uh, yeah, cool card. I, I do like it. Uh, next, we have Dragon Maw Sentinel. This card looks familiar. Two mana, one four. Battle card. If you're holding a dragon, game one attack and taunt. I mean, lifesteal. That was the other card they made a couple years back. And then they got all crazy on us and changed the keyword. Called it a day and charged us money for it. Um, is Lifesteal better than Taunt? Not particularly. It's good in some ways, but worse in a lot. Are you going to run this in a dragon deck? There's not a lot of dragon support in Standard, so probably not. But it might see play down the road. So I'll give it a, a 2 in Standard. And in Wild, the dragon stuff, there's just a lot better stuff to do if you're going to play Dragon Priest. You're not playing this, so I'm going to give it a 1. <laughs> Blizzard. Changing one word and calling it a new card. Classic. Next, we have Imprisoned Homunculus. A 1 mana 2, 5 demon. Holy crap. Oh, but it goes dormant for 2 turns, and it has taunt. Still really good. This comes back. It's a 3 mana 2, 5. Turn 3, 2, 5 taunt that you paid 1 mana for. That's just really good. Um, you do pass, you know, it's a little bit slow, but Priest can usually be a little bit slow. And then you can buff this with other stuff, and then it's unkillable, and it's a taunt. Very strong. Would have made Combo Priest more terrifying in standard, but hey, Combo Priest can live in wild, and it's not that bad. When you have cards like Radiant Elemental and Norshar Cleric and Divine Spirit kicking around. So, I think this card in, in standard will see play. I'm giving it a 3. And in wild, in Combo Priest, which again is not that bad a deck, might run this guy, and it could be decent. It's a very strong card, so I'll give it a 3 in Wild as well. So 3 across the board, just a very good card, and uh, yeah, interesting to see how it'll play out. Next we have Sethic Veil Waver, 2 mana 2-3 two, epic. After you cast a spell on a minion, add a priest spell to your hand. Reminiscent to the good old days of Lyra, which would, when you cast a spell, you'd add a random spell to your hand. This one you have to target something, but that can be an enemy minion, it can be a friendly minion, so... You know, that's good. And it's three mana cheaper. So it's not as good in Lyra as Lyra in terms of what it can do. But it's cheaper, more flexible, and you can run two copies of. Theoretically, infinite value on a premium statted two drop. That is just classic Blizzard design that I love. Ugh. Um, in, in standard, it's probably a little too slow and clunky. But I still think it's going to see play. Infinite value on a two drop? I think it'll see play. So I'm going to give it a three. And in Wild, you can abuse this a hell of a lot better with Radiant Elemental and do all the, the Degenerate Miracle Priest stuff. But that deck's just not that good. It just isn't there, but could see play at some point. So I'm going to give it a 2 in Wild, but it could sneak up and be a bit of a sleeper. You never know. Lastly, the last Priest card we'll take a look at is Dragon Ma Overseer. 3 mana 2-2 two, two at the end of your turn. Give your friendly another friendly minion plus 2 plus 2. Very similar to Shadow Ascendant back in the day. The stats are garbage. But the effect, if it sticks on the board for like a turn, you win the game. Um, it's a 3 mana 4-4 four, four that can snowball. You can protect it with some cheap buffs. You can protect it behind a taunt. Say you played Imprison Homunculus on 1. You play this on 3. You have a 2-7. You have a 4-7 taunt protecting this. 
that's pretty nuts. So, in standard, I could see this guy, despite the fact he's very vulnerable, see some play. Because if he just hits anything and you can't remove him and then he can't deal with what he hit, you're gonna you're gonna not gonna ever be able to kill the priest board. It's gonna be very difficult. So I'm gonna give this guy a three in standard. In wild he's way too slow. It's way too easy to kill him. And uh it's just you can't really do stuff like that in wild. So I'll give him a one in wild. So priest in standard, it's undergoing a whole identity change. Things are it seems to be very much stick stuff to the board and you never freaking dies. You just can't Divine Spirit Inner Fire it anymore. You can still Inner Fire though, and you got high health stuff, you can still punch for a bunch, so. Priest is gonna be still pretty obnoxious and still pretty annoying, so. That's at least consistent with class identity. In Wild, some decks like Reno Priest get some tools, and Priest will be pretty decent in Wild going forward, and that makes me sad. I hate the class, I want it to burn, but not everybody feels that way, so. Should be interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. We'll hit you up again with yet another review tomorrow, so look out for that. Have a great day, and stay salty, my friends. <laughs> <laughs>